Hello and welcome, my name is Sheep Thief, and today I'll be coming at you with some Book of Travels Chapter Zero gameplay. Um, I've played maybe like an hour or two with this character here, and I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but I'm going to create a new character and see if I can figure it out a little more. Um, so this game, I don't know if I fully get it yet. I got it on Steam. Um, and it's an MMO, so occasionally you see other players, uh, but, um, it's sort of rare, and, and, like, the gameplay is mostly about kind of walking around, you kind of just walk, but I really like the art style, um, and the exploration is, is pretty rewarding. Uh, it seems like there's some weird lore that I haven't figured out yet. You kind of trade things, and there's a weird combat system that I died to, like, twice, and I didn't quite know what happened. So, I don't know. They, we've got this, uh... we got these forms. The Larker, the Ribboned. Um, I don't really want to read through all of this. But it says, a form is a basic wander archetype used as a starting template to create a new character. Your chosen form determines a range of options and preset characteristics for your wander, and could also inspire you to roleplay in a certain way. There are several startup forms to choose from, as well as more unique ones that, may, that you may discover and unlock on your travels across Braided Shore. Many different types of people and beings inhabit Braided Shore, Askin folk being the most common. Your origin describes what type of people you are related to. Each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Wind affinity. Every person has a connection to one of the great four great winds. Affinity makes the cost of s the cost of skills of that wind less, meaning you need fewer skill points to learn it. Asking folk, descended from the peoples that inhabited the islands of Braided Shore since before recorded annals, your kind is by far the most numerous, naturally adaptive and resourceful. Asking folk have no natural physical weaknesses of fortitude, but their inherent spirituality makes them able to master the language of magic. Okay, so it seems like we... Um, there's an origin and a wind. Uh, and then... Okay, yeah, I see. And then it seems like they have different talents. So, alright. I don't know what we want. The good word. Safety is innocence. True beats harmonious heart. Simple, undemanding purity. I like this kind of thing in MMOs where it's like you don't really know what you're doing when you make a character. It's not like, oh, you get this much strength or whatever. It's sort of like, do what you, uh you feel like uh, the dimmed I kinda like her eastern wind I'm a northerner I kinda wanna see what are the northern winds crested naturally becoming mastery captain of dignified duty sophisticated splendor well, wait let's see if there's is there anyone who's not asking looks like everyone's asking okay uh, the weather, southern wind, armored pilgrim of mastery, scarred at story, cherry journey's end, vanguard storm rider. Mm, I like that. That's cool. The southern wind has stormy and energetic qualities. Powerful, just, and true qualities. A moss walker, dude. Blaze that. Uh, the enfolder. Northern, cerebral, calm, and mindful qualities. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I want... Spiritual, physical. Northern. Magic made familiar and fair. Restful depths of mind's communion. Forevermore belonging. Okay, I kind of like that. The ribboned. I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, I think social is if there's any oh social and spiritual. The gleaner, southern wind. A force of one, 
non-beholden quickster. Curious eye. Uh, I don't know what to do. It's hard. What's this? Eastern mechanical physical. I think I don't want that. Crested weather physical social. Okay, so so far I like the weather. Yeah, that's the one I noticed before. The weather and the ribboned. Which one do I want to do? I think I'll do the weather. Let's do it. Next. Age 30. Do I? Can I decide that? It'll be 27. Enter gender. Can I, anything? <laughs> oh no. Uh. I'll be a uh, male. Upbringing. Rural. Okay. Background. Whether or not it is a past you cherish or despise, your background affects who you are and will inf influence your future. Your wanderer's age and gender does not affect gameplay and is included solely for any role playing purpose you choose to pursue when enacting your character. Oh. Oh. I'll be, um. No, alright, whatever. I'm not gonna be mean about, uh. Our, uh. I'm not gonna be mean. Rural upbringing. Growing up in the farmlands, you learned at an early age how to work the fields, care for livestock, and read the shifting of the seasons. Okay, so we've got rural, small town. Grew up in small town settlement, learning to tend to your parents' vegetable garden and heed the individual peculiarities of neighboring villagers. You grew up in a large city, learning the business relationship between trade, craft, supply, and demand, and many faceted rules of the city's streets and allies. Crafts, your youth was spent in apprenticeship, learning the trade of your parents. You have a good understanding of the nature of stone, wood, and metal. Your child's spirit was open to the mysteries. You spent your youth learning to control your mystic gifts. I think I'm, what was I, my physical, hold on a sec. Physical and social. Okay. Unknown, you have little recollection of your past, nor how you lost your memory. Unburdened by any dark memories, still you imagine you know something of what it is to be an uprooted tree. Illegal, you were raised as a cub amongst bandits, learning the tricks and skills necessary to live outside of general society. Naval, hmm. learning the language of the waves and the weather. Grew up in mountainous terrain, tending to goats, climbing rocks, exploring caves. Grew up in an island, highborn. Poor. Religious, enslaved, rural. Okay, uh, I think I like. I like highborn. I like mystical. But I don't know if I'm min. I like. I'm trying. To, I, my, I'm a gamer, and uh, I'm trying to do gamer things instead of just enjoy these things. Let's just let's do a. Uh, Let's do mystical. I don't know actually. I think I think I want to bring uh bring the pain to Book of Travels. So we'll be uh we'll be unknown. Is that too edgy? We'll be uh let's do let's do naval. Personality. Okay, so t I'm tough, but that doesn't do anything yet. Besides being a crucial cornerstone for your role playing experience, your wanderer's personality traits will affect a great variety of situations. Positive traits will grant you benefits 
uh, in certain aspects of your travels and can often with clever use be used to your advantage. Your negative traits on the other hand may at times disadvantage or hinder your pursuits. Cunning. You never let your decisions get clouded by emotion or prejudice. You get a notion when night is approaching. Okay, so... I suppose we want a negative trait that doesn't have a gameplay effect. I am a gamer. Tense. Alright, give me arrogant. And we'll keep cunning. Vot. I see. Okay, so we'll keep cunning and... You move quicker in water. Observant, sensitive, caring. Your healing of those others than yourself is uncommonly potent. You're accepted into a party a little faster than other folk. Okay, I think we want that. But what was the other one? I think athletic. There is going through water a lot, but... That's super important. I think we'll do empath empathic and cunning. Next, skills. Alright, uh, sociality. So I just get to choose one, basically. Let's do sociality. That's what this game's about. Tricks of the Messenger. Mind of the Tactician. Read Strengths. Okay, I don't want to read all this. Tea. Serving tea is a common practice all over Rated Shore. It's also a craft connected to the mystical arts and magical tea recipes. Interesting. Knots. Tying of magical knots is the most common magical practice. Gestures of tying and, and the final shape of the knot together with the reagents tied into it are what gives a magic knot its power. There are many kinds of magical knots. Their effects are commonly re released instantly upon untying them. Knots are also a braided shore folk used for writing. It is oh interesting. I've seen that. That's kind of cool. It is believed that the knot symbols closely relate to the ancient words of making that together with the properties of plant and more mineral reagents is what gives them their power. Okay. Shit, I kind of wanted to do magic. Do I have to redo all this? You know what? Yeah, I want to do magic in this game. I don't want to fight. Let's uh, be... We're going to re-make ourselves into the ribboned. Wait, no. What was it? It was the... The weather and was that it? Spiritual, physical, S northern wind, social, spiritual, southern wind. Kind of like this. Vanguard storm rider. Whatever, we'll just keep it the same. Naval, good. 
still the same, right? 27 male, naval. And then we wanted uh, cunning and empathic and arrogant. Next, we'll do sociolo sociality and then. Or we could do physicality, and I assume this gives me even better stuff. I can look to, okay, no matter how much energy you put into your own appearance, how you look and how you present yourself plays a big part in how others perceive you. I wonder if this affects anything. Red eyes, you're totally committed to living a passionate and vivid life. Cobalt, jade, you're totally committed to living a supportive and adaptive. Humility, curiosity. Wisdom and creativity. Spiritual and imaginative. Mastery and dedication. I think I'm a Cinnabar guy. I'm either s passionate and vivid. Maybe um, I also kind of liked uh, sulfur. Mastery and dedication. I'm gonna master and dedicate myself to this game. Hey. 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 I like that. Equipment. I don't know what any of this is. Okay, equipment. You start your journey with only a handful of items and some worn equipment. On your travels, you can strive to get new and better equipment by exploring, trading, and overcoming challenges and enemies. There is no coinage or specific currency in use in braided shore, so mastering the art of trading will be key to your material wealth. Right-click on an item to see the approximate value and other details. Interesting. Cannot carry an infinite amount in your pack. Renting luggage space at a train master's stash available on most train stations is a good way to store things you want to keep but don't have immediate use for. Stats and equipment. Besides talents and skills, your character also has four cardinal stats. Force, ward, speed, and burden. These affect a variety of things and s depend primarily on equipment you wear but also certain skills and other effects. Force... Force is governed mainly by the deadliness of your weapon. When you engage in a combat situation, Self-defense situation forces that is the stat that dictates the power of your attacks. Ward is granted mainly by armor and protective equipment. How much force you can deflect. Speed is influenced by your burden as well as effects from various equipment. It affects your stamina and your ability to tie knots quickly. In combat, speed hastens your initiative and quickens your attack timer, enabling you to reach higher hit probability faster. Okay. Burden is the antithesis of speed. It makes you slower, increases time to tie knots, and slows down your initiative. Burden is connected to your encumbrance, particularly armor, granting high ward, making you sturdy but sluggish. Okay. So, bread. Tasty road bread. Alright. There's a little thing here. What's that? Sea louse wrapped in paper. Gross. And, ooh, what's this? Uh, bags and carries coming through. That seems pretty good. I don't know. Okay. This is what's cool about this game. I have literally no idea. What's this? Knots of raw jute. Decorative. Protective or symbolic armbands is a common accessory to clothing and armor in the braided shore. What's this? Sequence parchment. This is cool. This is mo this should be in more MMOs where you like start with sort of random stuff. 
Okay, what's this? Hardened paper necklace. Oh, a sword. I don't know if I can equip that. Alright. Um, I don't know. I we can't we can't spend too much time, uh Let's just see. I'm gonna do it four times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does this stand out? Decorative, protective, symbolic. Morsel of food. Hand painted portrait. I'm gonna do it seven one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I think I've messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where'd that portrait go? That was cool. I feel bad about going past that. Cracked jewelry box. I'm gonna see if I can find that portrait again. Give it to me. Come on. What? Oh my god. There's so many things. Will I never see it again? Come on. What is the portrait, man? Come on, give me portrait, man. Oh, wait, recall? I can't do that. Portrait, please. No! Ah, oh, I feel so terrible. It's gone forever. No! What? Ah, there it is. Oh my god, but I have nothing other than that. Wait, can I store this one? Okay. So if I recall, okay, good. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Come on. Give me another one with better stuff. This is so much stuff. Come on. Portrait. 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 Alright, I'm gonna give it seven more. Then we're just gonna go with the portrait, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> okay, let's do it. We have like no stuff, but. I'll try it. Okay, so you have to random. Heron, I kinda like that. Eri, Ka, Daro, Nane, Rumen, Stri, Yet, Sem, Hatu. Sound like demon names. Let's be um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Emmy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sanu, Ragi, Stria, Yura, Arini, Essi, Prefa. That's a good name. Pier. Okay, we'll store that. Is there anything better? Press F. Rehan. I like that. Rehan. And then family name. We'll store that. Family name. Uh, Rehan. Aharan. Kind of like that. Vastorim. Arpenet. Sadim. Enarim. Arosed. Rihan Arosed. Bino Essi. Antriad. I like that. Alright, yeah, yeah. I 
I like that. Rihan Antriad. Antriad. Okay. Finish. How did your journey begin? Um, I was on a journey at sea and I came from... How do I change that? Whoa. I don't I want to I don't want it to start in the north. How do I change that? Okay, whatever. North. Proceed. Okay, let me check uh it's 25 minutes. I'm going to end the recording and make another one right away. So, thank you for watching. This has been a long character creation. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we will uh continue the travels of Rihan and Triad. This has been Sheep Thief coming at you with some uh, Book of Travels Chapter 0. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.